welcome back to Dance by Fitness. So today we are not doing a dancing video. We will be doing an advice video for dancers during quarantine because I know it can be really unmotivating and hard to get motivated and get better during this time because there is more time to get more training and more practice. And you guys know that so far in quarantine, like most dancers have gotten less strong or yes. we've only like stayed at our level. I mean, most of us, I'm speaking for most of us, but um, this is, these are some tips to keep getting motivated, to work every day and to know your goals. My first tip for you guys is your day starts the night before. So that means you should be able to plan what you want to do, like your basic outline of your next day, so that you're ready for what's gonna happen so you don't waste time in the morning. And during your day, the first thing that you should do is to review your goals. So um, if you guys need kind of some advice to set goal, what you want to achieve after quarantine mm -hmm. and start working backwards from that. So make sure you know what you have to do every single day to achieve that goal. And also setting goals helps you know what you want to get better at every day and achieve your goals at the end of quarantine and help you achieve what you were trying to get better at that whole entire year or just a semester and come back even better, um, even better than you thought you were going to after this. Okay, so um, make sure that you guys stretch every, every day. single day for at least 30 minutes because during quarantine our muscles get stiff and you really, mm -hmm. really need to get going and um, really you're gonna lose your flexibility. And you should stretch before and after classes because before it helps you get warmed up for what you're about to do, legs, turns, jumps, whatever, but then after it's even more important because you're already warmed up, but your muscles are tense because you've been working them. So I always try to roll out, massage them, or um, ice muscles that are sore, and stretch so that I'll be ready for the next morning or afternoon. And if you guys want, take your time to have some self-care and take yes, some baths definitely. because it really, really helps to relax your muscles and make sure that you're prepared for everything that Coming We've definitely been doing this on FaceTime. We've been doing yeah. hot baths, cold baths, and Epsom salt baths because those three things really help. So if you go to a dance studio, make sure you're not skipping out on your regular Zoom classes. It's really important just to keep up with your home studio because they do have lots of good technique and they're training for you to come back and be better. On the weekends, I really like taking um, some classes from convention teachers if they're holding classes because if you have wanted to take a person's class and you have it in the past because you have something that weekend you can literally take anyone's class and it's just a better reason to get better and they're all free so that makes yes. it more um, appealing for you guys to take yes. and it they want you to take their classes mm -hmm. so Okay, so the next tip is to keep yourselves busy during this yes. time because it's so important to catch up on yourself. And if you keep yourself busy, you won't have extra time and you won't think, oh, what am I going to do? I'm going to go scroll on TikTok for an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you have stuff planned to keep yourself busy. I know it's super hard, but learn new hobbies. Or go on a run, do a yoga class, do abs something like that just to keep you busy and if you guys need a workout a quick workout we have a quick workout for you. also if you guys need something to warm up before class we also have a dance warm-up yes. video so go watch that so the whole um so during quarantine we wanted to make this channel so that you guys could access our videos mm -hmm. from home so if you guys need a workout if you guys need a dance warm-up if you your guys studios aren't offering point classes because they think it's dangerous we also have one of those which is very intermediate and safe so you will not get also hurt. if you literally don't have a class all weekend we have combos we have a lyrical contemporary jazz we're going to be uploading more we might do a hip-hop we might do a fusion like something like that um, so go check those out also in the description and we're gonna get on to the next point okay so the next thing is just to spend time with your family I know that it can be really hard to not see your friends we have definitely been facetiming like mm -hmm. every single night mm -hmm. and you can just have zoom parties like it really ups lift your spirits when you get to see your friends through a computer or phone um, 
So also just spend time with your family because you're going to be with them 24-7 and it's just it's fun and you can get more close with them and have fun experiences at home with them and make up new things you can do at home instead of going out. Okay, so our next tip is to create new hobbies, learn new things. Mm -hmm. There's always so many resources online where you can learn new things. You can go on YouTube, there's so much to learn. Learn a new hobby, learn how to cook, learn how to bake. All helped me and Madeline with um, being more motivated during this time. And I hope that everything opens up in your states or wherever you live because Texas is kind of opening mm -hmm. up. Just depends. Hope, hope you vibes with us. us. Thank you guys so much for watching our video and let us know if you guys found this helpful. helpful. So, and comment down what you guys want to see next.